Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. I'm so excited to be here among this distinguished crowd. I'm here to read a statement on behalf of the National Council of Eritrean Americans, and I'd like to start off by chanting, No more. No more. No more. We, Eritreans and Ethiopians, are profoundly dismayed by the executive order that President Joseph R. Biden Jr. signed on September 17, 2021, and the subsequent sanctions imposed on Eritrea on November 12, 2021, based on disinformation orchestrated by the TPLF and their enablers, whose reports are based on this group's fabrications and words of certain NGOs. Ethiopia as a sovereign nation has designated the TPLF as terrorist due to its repeated seditious military acts and genocidal activities against innocent civilians. Similarly, Eritrea, despite the repeated unprovoked terrorist attacks by the TPLF, has continued to be a stabilizing force in the region. Hence, it is unbecoming for a superpower that wields strong international diplomatic and economic clout to enable a terrorist organization that's determined to destabilize the Horn of Africa and hell-bent on pitting ethnic groups of the region against each other in order to prolong its life. The U.S. sanctions collectively and concurrently aim at punishing the victims, the people of Eritrea and Ethiopia and all the greater Horn of Africa in this conflict, while on the other hand, whitewashing the acts of perpetrators, the TPLF, which has caused unprecedented damage both in terms of human loss and property damage during the period when it had absolute power and since it was deposed by popular revolt in 2018. Bringing pressure on to bear on Eritrea and Ethiopia to appease an terrorist organization that has continually destabilized the region and fostered enmity among Ethiopia's ethnic groups as well as those of the rest of the Horn, will have dire consequences on the region's long-term political, diplomatic, economic, and security conditions. Inevitably, such an accomplice and a policy of appeasement will wreak havoc on the long-term security and foreign policy interests of the United States of America. It is indeed mind-boggling to see the USA standing on the side of a terrorist-designated group, the TPLF the lip service to unity of Ethiopia notwithstanding. It is curious what the USA stands to gain by supporting a group that is determined to balkanize Ethiopia by creating Bantu stands and redrawing international boundaries in order to serve a hidden agenda to eventually establish a statehood of Greater Tigray. It looks like the Biden administration has repeated the mistakes of a previous US administrations that stood on the wrong side of history in a number of countries, to name a few, apartheid in South Africa, Angola, etc. Therefore, it's incumbent upon the U.S. to correct its wrong policies and condemn TPLF's adventurous military activities in the Horn of Africa. It also has to support Eritrea's right to defend its sovereignty from a group that has openly declared its intentions to invade and had already launched dozens of rockets into Eritrea's population centers. We therefore urge the current U.S. administration to stop supporting the terrorist group of TPLF. All the ill-advised executive order, along with its subsequent sanctions, which will only embolden the TPLF, then is determined to sow chaos, cause death and destruction, and lead to a further instability and fragmentation of Ethiopia and the Horn of Africa. On this historic occasion, we call upon all peace-living peoples and nations to denounce the unjust sanctions against the people of Eritrea and demand that the sanctions are rescinded. We also demand that the U.S. refrain from undermining Ethiopia's sovereignty rights as a nation. In conclusion, for the people of Eritrea, Ethiopia, and the Greater Horn of Africa to live in peace and stability, it is high time that we stand together so that Eritrea Ethiopia and the Horn of Africa prevail. Thank you so much. No more. No more. No more. Thank you.